Miss Jenny Packard gazed thoughtfully at her machines. They were all standing to attention and anxious to start work. It's about time I gave you all your jobs. Nothing too fancy, I'm afraid. Well, make haste then, because I'm raring to go. And ready to rumble. I can't take it anymore. If I don't get a decent drive in anytime soon, I'll... Calm down, you two. If you'd both just be patient and listen. You know, I've always been quite fond of travel, particularly when there's a little effort involved. Who asked you? Stow it, the lot of you. Pay attention. All this arguing is bound to spoil my paintwork. You were saying, Miss Jenny? Well done, Isabella. You'd make a mother proud, a natural leader, I must say. Now down to business, your duties for the next few weeks. Max and Monty, you'll be working at the quarry. Rock solid, baby. We won't let you down, ma'am. Kelly, you are urgently needed at Tidmouth to help construct a new warehouse. Your exceptional reach will be invaluable. Sure thing, Miss Jenny. And now my two lorries, Nelson and Isabella. Nothing too fancy. I've managed to score a new contract from the Sodor Shipping Company. Nelson, you'll handle that, I'm sure. No problem. And Isabella, I have an important task for you. The maintenance shed is in need of new supplies. Therefore, you will be in charge of delivering the new shipment of parts, paint, and tools. Our materials could use a good renovation, and I'm sure you'll do the job well. You won't regret it. I'll be done in a flash, and I'll look good while I do it. Isabella was soon hitched to her trailer, and she steamed away to fetch the first shipment. Max and Monty, however, were annoyed by her excessive praise. She's too proud of her blasted paintwork. I'm sick of listening to her gloat about it. We'll show her. She's only a steam lorry. We'll be running circles around her. Just wait and see. Hello there, Isabella. I couldn't help but notice your stunning paintwork. Not too shabby, I must say. Not too shabby. Give me a break. Watch out! Gangway! Hate to spoil your paint, madam. Watch it, you cretins. You're bound to cause an accident. I take pride in my appearance. What's wrong with that? All I want is a moment's peace. And you're bound to get it, lass. Just hang tight. These little errands of yours will be done soon, and then we'll have a big project to sort out. The last one is today, isn't it? Yes, a brand new assortment of tools and machinery. One that will completely renovate our old pallet. This was an enjoyable job, with all said and done. I just wish there was some way I could pay Max and Monty out. Revenge is something not worth seeking. If you're patient, those who deserve their comeuppance will well receive it. Haha, ha, that's rubbish and you know it. Meanwhile, Max and Monty were delivering stone to service foundations to a bridge that was being mended. Dump that stone over by the shed if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Max did so, but was paying little attention. So little, in fact, that he did not notice his brother was passing by, just as some hard stone was pouring onto the ground. Yow! Clumsy, good-for-nothing, moron. Look what you did! Unloading stone right in my path. Shut up! You have no sense of direction. You drove here while I was unloading. Max and Monty argued well into the late hours while they waited for Butch to arrive. Isabella, however, was anxious to get home in the least disruptive way possible. Splendid, no waiting. I'll just mosey Dad, on through. I can't stop! What the? Where on earth did you spring from? I'm sorry, Isabella. I was supposed to stop further up the line, but my brakes failed, and the stupid tracks pushed me. I hadn't even bumped them or anything. Brilliant, just brilliant. Now I suppose I'll have to return to the pack empty trailered. Isabella limped sadly home, and was worried about what the pack would say about her accident. Everyone had been looking forward to the new shipment of tools and equipment. Well, well, well. Please explain, Monty. I'm dying to know. You had not all of these dents this morning. What in the blazes happened to you? Shut up! Shut up! How about you, Max? Know anything about it, perchance? Ah, don't worry about it. I have nothing to do with it. Why, you little... 
Pipe down, Isabella. Brought in those new parts so you can easily get those dents sorted out. Isabella stared at the ground. What? Where are they? They were, uh, compromised during the journey. It would serve you right, too. You've been very foolish lately. So as punishment, you can wait for your repairs until we get fresh supplies. And Max, you can do Monty's work as well as your own. Who would have thought I would be the reason for their comeuppance? Perhaps you were right all along. Serendipity, I call it. It was a lucky break. But hey, I don't suppose anyone is complaining. Serendipity. Isabella chuckled to herself. She liked the sound of that.